The Wood Knight is sponsored by I Would Like. I started off by trimming down some hardwood to what I thought was the correct size, that is as close to 19mm as possible, which you'll find out is actually wrong. Either way, this took several tries to get it as close as possible. Once they were ripped, I jointed a small block of hardwood to S4S. The video footage of actually laying this out was rubbish, so pause it here and look at the drawing. Alternatively, if you're a Patreon, head over there for the download in PDF form. Over at the drill press I started by drilling the infeed with a 28mm bit. This is the larger of the two holes. Ideally you'd continue with the small bit with the previously drilled hole face up using the spur to locate the bit. Unfortunately the carbide tip 19mm forcing bit has such a small spur that it couldn't center. And this is why I marked out both sides. Then the holes for the bolts could be drilled. Off camera I had to counterbore these as my bolts weren't long enough. Finally, a through hole is drilled for the router bit. For the base, I then ripped some leftover 18mm plywood. It just needs to be long enough to reach across your router table. Using the drill bits I used to drill the holes in the jig, I could then transfer those directly to the plywood. I installed some M6 threaded inserts into the plywood. I'm using a rather dull half inch spiral upcut bit here, though any straight bit would work. I'd suspect that box core bits would work too. Setup is a bit of trial and error. Once you get the hang of it, it takes about three small dowels to set it up right. I ball the height, do a test dowel, adjust up or down depending on the results, do another test dowel and so on. Okay, so I'm getting better results now. The first results were pretty rough, to be, to be kind. Um, garbage is probably a better word. There's lots of tear out. Um, the sizing is okay, but mostly the tear out's the issue. The key I found was twofold. First, run the drill in reverse. Rather than spinning clockwise, run anti-clockwise. Um, that works better with the cutter and the router and actually produces close to a burnished surface. The second thing was the size of the starting stock. Rather than cutting it to 19 millimeters, my desired dowel size, I actually needed to work out the best size fit for the appropriate drill bit in the infeed. Diagonally across, um, the 19 millimeters came to about 26 and a half mil. I didn't have a 26 and a half or a 27 mil drill bit, so a 28 millimeter bit was what I used. But that left a bit of a sloppy fit in the infeed side. Consequently, it sort of wobbles around a little bit and that didn't do wonders for the cut quality, but it also meant it was a little bit more variable. So the solution for that is to drill the hole whatever size above what you need. So in my case, I needed 26 and a half, so the only size I could go to is 28. Then figure out what the optimal sides of the square are. So the easiest way to do that is to take a measurement of the hole or the drill bit to make sure that you've got the correct starting number because it's rarely going to be exactly 28 millimeters. Um, then divide that by the square root of two. An easy way is to just divide that by 1.414. And that gave me about 20.2 millimeters, I think. Uh, and the subsequent fit is actually pretty good here. Rubs against the edges, but it goes through just fine. Uh, and got much better cut quality. And also wax the hole here a bit more. It's very, very smooth in there now. Um, and that just 
lets it go through easier. So, <clears throat> hopefully this all goes according to plan. So there are probably a couple of questions people are going to ask. One, why do this? Dowels are expensive if you buy them from hardware stores. They're not very round or very accurate. 18.95 millimeters, 18.96, 18.93. These are much more accurate than what I can get at Bunnings. I can do them in whatever species I like. So I've got Blackwood, I've got Jarrah, I've got Redgum or Tassie Oak much cheaper to do it this way and I can do more sizes so this happens to be a 19 millimeter dowel which isn't uncommon but something like a 38 millimeter dowel for my Moxon vice kit or for my leg vice is harder to find and certainly gets much more expensive second question I can think that people are going to ask is this any better than other jigs available I think it's better than any of the jigs that require you to pound the dowel through various sizing blocks because they don't go up very large this, well, I can make it as large as I've got a drill bit for. Better than the Veritas jig because that's very expensive and again, doesn't go up very large. Is it better than Matthias Wandale's uh, pencil shaver jig? Probably not, but I don't know whether Matthias's jig is any better than this. I think ultimately his jig and this one um, are different. They're not better or worse than each other. They both have pros and cons. His jig probably gives a better surface finish because you can get a plain blade sharper than you can a router bit, but you'd have to sharpen that more frequently than a router bit, which I think I could do quite a few meters of these before having to sharpen it. But then it's more expensive to sharpen it. I think this way is probably a little bit quicker in the uh, speed it goes through because you've got uh, two power tools assisting you but of course it is much much noisier than just using a plain blade so sort of up to you whether you prefer one style or not um, this works it's easy to set up and I think the overall construction of this is a little bit easier than Matthias's one where you've got to stop start the table saw blah 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 doesn't really matter end of the day they both produce fairly accurately sized downs and that's really the goal. If you have a more efficient way or an interesting way to make dowels, let me know in the comments below. Um, using a lathe doesn't count because I've done that and manually it sucks. It takes far too long to get not an accurate enough dowel compared to these which take about, I don't know, 30 seconds each. Thanks for watching.